Hey everybody, here with uh, another review of this. I had done a review in the house, taking it out of the box, and uh, there's been some questions, so I figured let's show it on the sled here. You can see I've got uh, a backup phone in here. It's kind of a small one. It's a Samsung S10e. Uh, I showed you in the previous review. There's some spacers that you can put in there. Um, we'll take this apart, and you can you can see it all. Um, but looks pretty slick. Pops right on there. It's uh, decently sturdy. I mean, I'm sure it's going to have some movement. It's just foam with some straps around it. Um, touch screen's pretty good. It's not it's not perfect. I did find that. Um, when I took the case off this phone, this case has got a little bit of thickness to the back of it, that uh, when the phone is farther away from this plastic lens, that uh, the touch screen sensitivity is horrible. So you're going to want either something um, behind it to, to bring it up to this, this plastic surface or a thicker case uh, to bring it up there. And then uh, once you do that, I mean, you can close apps and open apps and everything works like it should. So... Um, yeah, seems pretty slick. Uh, make sure that when you do use this, you don't get any moisture inside of there when you sh when you shut it. Um, otherwise, um, you're going to have some between the screen and that, and uh, it just messes up with the sensitivity as well. Um, let's take it apart here. And you can see it's got this little notch for the charging cable. So that can... And you just... You just run the cable right down the side there. Um, you could you could carve this up a little bit too. You could put a channel down the side for the cable to run in, or you could you could widen it out. As you can see, like I said, this is kind of a smaller phone, so a bigger phone, you might have to look into a little bit different USB solution where it doesn't, uh, you know, that takes up a lot of space. That's not really too flexible till about there. And so a bigger phone that's down here, well now that's sticking out. So, um, but this is I think this stuff would. Uh, work real nice with the razor blade you could just cut a channel out of it you could get a 90 degree usb adapter and it'll be no big deal um let's get the phone out of the way here this is uh this is the phone portion you can see the velcro straps velcro there as well and uh this is where it pops on you can see i didn't have to modify this in any way this is this is the way that the, my cat came um, I did have to run the center strap through the, the riser. That wasn't too big of a deal, and the other two go around there. Um, uh, yeah, overall, pretty pretty slick. It does have some spacers, like I said, for the the uh, length and width of the phone, not for the backside, though, so just make sure you have a thicker case. Uh, it seems like if you're looking for something that's a horizontal setup, um, then uh, rather than vertical, because you just don't have that option with that. With this, um, it should be pretty decent and uh the heating pads i don't have that um but i'm assuming that it just just runs through there and sits back there i think they're like three or a five watt heating pad i don't know if you can usb power them or you need to run them off the battery um yeah pretty slick little product for the price